Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for January the 11th. Today in 1569, the very first English lottery was drawn at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Queen Elizabeth's bank account was running dry, and she could have either raised taxes or held a lottery to fill it back up again. She decided to go with the lottery, and it was the first ever national lottery. The tickets were 10 shillings each, beyond the means of an ordinary person, which makes it different from a modern lottery where tickets are often priced low enough so that low-income people can afford them. The lottery was targeted to the upper class. It became a status symbol to have bought a ticket. The first prize was £5,000, which was enormous. It was paid partly in cash, partly in plate, tapestries, and good linen cloth. I wonder if Queen Elizabeth was doing some kind of decluttering thing in order to get rid of her linen and just added it into the lottery as a sort of bonus. To encourage more people to buy tickets, everyone who bought a ticket was promised, quote, freedom from arrest from all crimes other than murder, felonies, piracy, and treason. So it was literally a get out of jail free card. The number of entries was limited to 400,000. Unfortunately, the winner's identity has been lost to history. The lottery was considered a voluntary tax, and the practice of lottery as a national fundraising method has survived and grown around the world to this day. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.